What's up everyone and welcome back to the LeBron James Road to Glory in NCAA Football 14. We are finishing up the regular season today so we can get into the playoffs for the next installment of this. And I will have the I will have the accumulated totals of all of LeBron's high school stats after the end of the playoffs. Uh, by the t end of that episode, I have to go back through and actually calculate everything, like add everything up from these previous games, but I will have that full information after those playoffs are over, and we'll also do probably signing day in that video. I don't know how long the playoffs are, but I will get to that the next time I sit down to record this series. I'll go through all of that. LeBron not having the biggest day in terms of big plays so far this afternoon, but he has contributed three catches so far on the day. And he is going to make another play right here. A tough catch in traffic right there. An 11-yard pickup. 15 passes to one run. That's how this uh, how this high school games are balanced. But 18-yard catch over the middle right there for LeBron. And now we are lining up on the right side here. Taking a curl route. And we are left wide open. But we did have to come back to backtrack. So we only pick up 8 yards on that play. And now running another curl route. We are open once again. And with the three people around, nobody moves to come cover. So we do end up picking up a good chunk right there. Now third down and goal. And we are trying to get ourselves open and tough coverage. But it's fit in there perfectly by our quarterback. And now we're down almost in the red zone once again. On the curl route, another pickup right there. About 14 for LeBron on that one. As he hasn't had the loudest day. But he has contributed quite a bit so far as this is going to be a six yard catch but this will be the big play right here that really boosts our stats as we are going deep and that man misses the tackle right there we switch hands but we don't need to 52 yard pickup for lebron and that is going to cap off a pretty big day he did have double digit catches and after that last touchdown we scored we did have quite a bit of yardage as well i believe we were in the triple digits even before this touchdown but this is really going to boost our stats at the end of the day 52 extra yards to our total so good game again for lebron hasn't had a bad game all season up to this point and he is looking like a top recruit in this class steve murka the quarterback gets your player of the game five touchdowns for him and about 400 yards through the air as you can see 11 catches 176 yards three touchdowns 16 yards per reception and we did have one drop again the rate drops very weird in this game because sometimes it'll be bad throws that get broken up by the by the corner count as drops but alabama's given us a scholarship at wide receiver and we have a few teams that we can add to our list of interested it's not like it really matters at this point i think i end up picking auburn but like i said it doesn't really matter at this point because as i'll show you at the end of the episode we have been offered scholarships by pretty much every team that we would be interested in anyway but we are in our last regular season game now against the winless New Philadelphia High School. And despite a pretty decent start by LeBron, the team will be a little bit slow to start out of the gate as they stall out on that drive. And then the next drive, LeBron is going to go over the middle and he's going to catch that one. But he does drop the ball after being tackled at his feet. He cannot hold on as he hits the ground and that ball is going to pop out. It's going to be a fumble. But new philadelphia would be able to capitalize on that but now with the ball once again is st mary's in a really off target throw lebron has to come back off of his route to try and catch that one he catches it and he's going to score the touchdown right there and it would be a big day for lebron there are very few plays where we don't get chunks chunks of yardage in a row right here we are in the second quarter we really haven't done a whole lot this game so far but now we're going deep and we are actually going to shake off this man right here and we're not going to have the amount of energy to get to the end zone but we do get quite a big gain right there we would score later on on that drive and now running a corner route and this is going to be a little bit off target but lebron does notice in time that the ball is going to be off target turns around and he has managed to catch that and now breaking press coverage running down the sideline we are going to get into the goal to go situation they do end up kicking a field goal st mary's and now running down the sideline the safety is not really Really reacting he comes over a step too late and this is a foot race to the end zone that lebron is going to win as he dives for the end zone the man tries to tackle him by the ankles and that isn't going to work so that is going to put us up 34 to 7 as we are starting to blow this one open the truck right there tackle down from behind but we do end up getting all the yards that we need to get down into the red zone pretty much and now from a goal to go situation lebron wide open on the curl the two men behind him did not really turn around to defend that and he scores a touchdown i believe that's our third second second touchdown of the afternoon and now 
trying to find somebody open is Murka, and we decide to just run deep as we thought he was just going to get rid of it, and we actually end up scoring another touchdown right there. And so that is going to do our, our final regular season game in high school, and this is going to be the play of the game was our streak down the sideline, a nice ball by our quarterback right there. And I actually think that we are named player of the game, which is surprising because we haven't been named player of the game like three times in a row. So it's uh, it was nice to see for once. And really, we should be player of the game pretty much every game because most of the reason the quarterback has such good stats is because we're putting in work. But 11 catches, 330 yards, and four touchdowns in our final regular season game. That's an average of 30 yards per reception or 30 yeah, 33 yards per reception actually i think no it would be just 30 it'd be over 30 but anyway that's going to wrap up our regular season we do finish the season off 7 and 0 oh, and we do not lose a game obviously as that will be what 7 and 0 oh indicates but 30 yards per reception four touchdowns 67 was our long 11 catches 330 yards went over all those stats already but before we end up finishing this episode we do have some more college related stuff to attend to i'll show you guys the schools that we are that are on our board but first auburn offers us a scholarship and so we're going to get a few more options for colleges west virginia tcu and oklahoma state i'll pick oklahoma state because in real life lebron is a cowboys fan and des bryant went to oklahoma state so that was my logic behind picking oklahoma state for lebron this is our list of schools as you can see a lot of five and six star schools our top two choices are both offering us scholarships as well so we will have to make a decision between ohio state and notre dame so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed see you next time for more lebron james road to glory as we finish up our high school career see you next time